What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Danielle. This is probably not the best first video to watch of mine because it's about to get really real and really weird and you're gonna be like, who is this girl? Um, but um, welcome back if you are coming back because this is a video, if you watch my videos, that I would really love you to watch. I'm coming to you live from my room. Very messy behind me, as you could tell. I just got out of the shower. I have self-tanner kind of on me right now. No makeup. Literally, I just wanted to sit down and film this video because I want it to be real. I find all my videos very real, but recently people have been saying I'm fake and I'm like, excuse me, so... <laughs> I don't even know. Anyways, this is my room right now, if you just want to see. I just got back home from Europe last night. I slept until 1.30 p.m. today. I don't do that literally ever. I've never done that in my life. But the time zone's different here. I also was awake for 24 hours yesterday. So I was awake for the whole day traveling. And, you know, I just needed some rest. There's a lot going on in my life right now, and I could not be more thankful. Like, life is so good. My Europe trip was so much fun, and I can't wait for you guys to see the vlogs. I really have to unpack from college and from that trip now and I leave for New York on Thursday to meet a ton of you guys which I'm so excited about. I just had two cups of coffee so I'm like a little caffeinated, a little jittery. I just really need this video to go up like right now. Like this is a video long overdue but also not. I needed some time to film this video and you know, yeah. So I feel like a lot of YouTubers, they like put their life out on YouTube, but then as soon as something bad happens and subscribers start to notice, they're like, well, you know, my subscribers don't deserve like they don't need to you know know about my life like this is my life and I agree to that to an extent I feel like if you're putting certain aspects of your life out onto internet that's it game over like there you go like your subscribers are a part of you now and I feel like you guys do deserve to know something that's been going on with me and I don't know like it wasn't I haven't been trying to ignore it well I have been trying to ignore it because you know for me emotionally it was interesting to deal with um, but I just needed some time, so if I didn't respond to your questions about certain things, like, I really hope you guys understand, but hopefully all of your questions will be answered right now. So we're just gonna sit down and talk for a second, I'm gonna update you guys on my life, answer a question that a lot of you guys have been asking me, and yeah, let's just get on with it. So I've probably gotten a thousand plus questions in the past few months if me and Joey are still together. Me and Joey are no longer boyfriend and girlfriend, however, we literally talk every day, like, I'm genuinely texting him right now like he's on this right now like we text every day send each other audio messages like we good and it's actually kind of funny I don't really know we broke up not because we didn't love each other it was actually quite the opposite we broke up because we loved each other too much and the distance was just getting way too hard for us if you guys don't know Joey lives in Canada I live in Florida and I'm in college at the University of Georgia and we're both at different points in our lives like I'm I was in my freshman year of college He's like doing his career stuff right now. I wasn't able to go see him. He wasn't able to come see me Traveling like I'm going on tour like there's so many things that were like going against us and we just It was getting to our emotions too much to be away from each other for like months and months That we had to just end it. I'm trying to be super sweet short and to the point because it is a really sweet, easy, short thing to the point. Obviously, I'm sad when I think about it sometimes, but I'm also so thankful because we have established such a great relationship with each other. Literally, I'm texting him right now, and that is something with breakups that isn't usually a thing. It was a very mutual thing between us. It was a civilized conversation. Like, literally, we were laughing during this breakup conversation we were having because because that's just who we are and he's still my best friend like if you ask me who my best friend is like I will tell you Joey Kidney like he is such an amazing person inside and out like it's so great now don't think I do not promote long distance relationships I totally do I am more than for them yes I'm crying but it's not because like I'm devastated from our breakup it's just like it's weird to like say this on a camera but you know it's okay to cry it's okay to break down I know Joey's filming a video too and he definitely won't cry but that's because he's way better at handling his emotions and he just doesn't cry he hasn't cried in seven years yeah I'm talking about you Joey so hey Joey if you're watching this I'm sure you are because we talked about these videos and everything there was no tea spilling like literally nothing happened like neither of us did anything to each other nothing like literally it was that we loved each other too much the distance was just getting to us and yeah that was literally it and I'm so for long distance relationships I think they definitely can work if you have the time and money to keep up with it if you don't you know it does get hard um but yeah so that's that we're still literally really good friends we've facetimed since we broke up like I almost went to play this live Orlando and I would have seen him there you know like it's 
I'm so thankful. Like, that's all I can say. Like, literally, I feel comfortable texting him whenever I want. I know he feels the same. Like, I, I still ask him all my techie questions because your girl literally can't with some things. So I'll be like, Joey, help me with this. Like, why isn't my SD card working? Like, literally, like, he's the best. Like, literally, we're fine. I don't know why I keep saying literally. So I'm currently, it's right after the video and I'm asking Joey a question. <laughs> so he's helping me do my memory. Literally, nothing has changed. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I may or may not disable the comments on this video just because this isn't a video to like get reaction or anything. It's just answering a question to my loyal subscribers who have been around forever, who watched our relationship go on, and you guys do deserve to know. And it's not fair because all of a sudden we stopped posting about each other. A couple months back when I said, you know, we weren't trying to be on social media anymore, that was true. That was something that we were trying to do to like maybe help our relationship a little bit. Um, but it just didn't really do anything. It was just the distance. We thought the social media was the issue, but it really was just the distance. It's out there. You guys know. So I'd really appreciate maybe, like, not commenting about it anymore because it's just not needed to be. Like, we're fine. Everything's good. If you want to comment something sweet about our friendship, I guess, like, go for it. But, yeah, that's that. Um, I just wanted to get this video out there before I went on tour and everything, and you guys might start asking me all about it because there's really not much to it. We just broke up because of distance, and we still chillin'. We still good. Like, literally, he just sent me, like, three audio messages. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send him an audio message right now. Joey, it's your girl Danielle, coming live from the video. I just did it, I said it, and everything's good. <laughs> Sent. He's gonna be like, oh my god, this girl's a mess. I feel so much better saying that. I just hope this video is received well, and you guys understand. Um, but yeah. I'm not like really, I'm not like dating anyone right now. I guess the next question you guys would ask, like, no, I'm not dating anyone right now at all. I'm a super independent person. Like, Joey was the first person I could actually find myself wanting to like hang out with all the time because I love being with myself. But yeah, I love you guys so much. And if you ever think I'm being dishonest with you guys, please don't. If I'm avoiding something, it's just because I'm not ready to talk about it. Um, but yeah, so I love you guys so much. I'm so excited to meet you with you guys and see where this next year goes. I know it's gonna be so fun, but yeah, go support Joey. I'm pretty sure he's posting a video too. He's amazing. Keep supporting him. Don't let this be some sort of, don't take sides. Take our side. Take me and Joey's side because it's really one of those situations. I love you guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys very soon for my next video. Bye-bye.